Well, the patriarchy now wears lipstick. <laughs> Hi, hello, ni hao, I'm Margar Jude and welcome back to another video. Do you like this wig? <laughs> this is giving James. <laughs> this is for all my fellow trans people because it has been hard as fuck to be trans this week. Like, do I give a fuck? No, not one. How many fucks do I give? Zero. Exactly, so therefore your comment is irrelevant. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm gonna take this off. But today I'm gonna be talking about uh, Kelly, uh, uh, Posey Parker, who is a turf and was actually speaking at the Let Women Speak uh, Auckland. And she was met by a bunch of TRAs, trans rights activists. And the showdown went pretty just as much as I expected. Now, I can show you some of the clips, and it's quite disgusting, and it's quite fascinating. I can show you this clip. So, if you look at this photo, it you can see that he's actually throwing down the barricades. And if you look at this guy, if you look at this guy who and what he's wearing, he looks like a cis man. He looks like, he looks like a man. Completely man, like 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 no dress, no nothing, just completely man man figure. Uh, I also forgot to add that there's also another one which shows a man punching a woman. This is the and this is not the same person, but they wear the same exact clothes. This is a this is a cisgendered man. Because the thing is that men can't hit women anymore. Like that's the thing. Like like abuse or whatnot, even just jokingly, right? It does it is it's not it's not a good anymore. So what happens is that I do believe that there are a bunch of these men who are completely cisgender. Like they have like I don't think they're any part of the protest or they just say that they're trans and just move on. I feel like they are using this as an excuse to hit women. Like that's the issue. That this guy is completely normal. Like you that like, you could find him anywhere. You could find him anywhere, probably on the streets of New York, on the streets of LA. Like this guy will probably be the the, the, the average guy that you ever see but yet he's throwing down the barricades with other men who's doing the same thing which tells me that the fact the fact of the matter is is that these are not only being led by men in dresses but these are being led by men men like biological men who have no problem with their gender whatsoever no gender dysphoria but they have just come about to just to just wreak havoc on the show not only that there are dozens and dozens of photos seeing men like not trans women, not trans women, not women, men. Men in shirts, tank tops, joggers, sweaters, all these different kinds of like things that you will associate with what a man would wear typically rather than a skirt or a dress. You know, all these, all these, all these men who look complete, who, who look like they have, there's no, there's nothing conflicting in their brain or there's no, nothing about gender disorder. If you look at these people, they look completely fine with their gender. Don't forget. On that part of the aisle, or the TRAs, it's a fucking gay parade. So, you, so not only are you going to have the men-men, you're going to have the men-women, the women-women, the women-men, and the... I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like this TRA is being hijacked by actual misogynists. It's... Don't, don't forget, these are... We're talking about the men-men now. I mean, in general, you can claim that everyone on the, on the TRA side was actually very violent. It doesn't matter whether what the list was men 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 women 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 men or and or, or or i don't know and the thing is, is that they were all violent because the thing was is that that the uh, that person who poured tomato soup on posy parker was actually a woman woman uh she's an she's an uh, trans activist but well, we don't know because she, she looks like a woman woman but who knows maybe she's the i don't know if you saw in that clip posy parker was literally surrounded by people surrounded by the tras on all sides
it was so bad to the point where she literally had to get escorted out. She was escorted. She was literally driven into a in a uh, driven in a police car out of the crowd. Now, don't forget that this was not this was not supposed to be her only event. She had an event in Wellington as well, but she cancelled it because of safety reasons and New Zealand was not guaranteeing police safety, police presence at her at her next event at Wellington. And so basically after so basically not even 24 hours after she landed in uh in Auckland, she left. And people were cheering this on as and, and, and you know she's a coward and whatnot. And I'm like no, the police didn't even protect her from your savages. <laughs> uh, so basically, the New Zealand uh, police officers cannot protect a woman from the raging man women, from the raging man in dresses. And at her Wellington event, the Destiny Church boys actually showed up in solidarity with Ozzy Parker and Brian Tamaki, which is the head of the church, and his boys basically went out and did various questionable things that I would I would say I mean you could just watch the clips You can clearly see that the Destiny Church boys were clearly using violence against the TRAs. Okay, to clarify, I don't think I should be using the word violence. Maybe I should have just used the used a more lighter word. Maybe just with force. I, although I would say that it was less than the violence that we that we that we saw at Auckland. It's still violence, and you know I don't support this kind of uh, this kind of way. And probably this is the same thing as what happened to Posey Park in Australia when a bunch of neo Nazis. Came to her, came to her rally, and basically held up, I don't know, a weird sign, and then and then doing the salute. The neo Nazis basically like hijacked the show, uh, from Posey Parker, and basically, basically the media tried to associate these neo Nazis with Posey Parker, and Posey Parker said that said that you know these are not people who show solidarity with women if they're going to turn the spotlight. Uh, onto themselves, you know. So probably the the TRAs and the and the media will try to link Posey Parker with the Destiny Church boys, and you, you, you know this this will be the same thing all over again. Let's get to the news part. So one news is like a is like a news is like a news television news outlet in on New Zealand, and basically. There was this one, and basically the MPs of 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 New, of New Zealand. I don't know who these groups of people are, but the the girl in the green shirt was super liberal. I don't know who she was. I was she, I I she Labour parties. I can't remember, but she was super liberal. And basically, she said this. I think the Green Party's position on this <coughs> was totally clear from the get go. Our position, or rather, the argument that we were making to the immigration minister, wasn't on free speech grounds, but was on the potential of disruption to public safety. Uh, just, I think it is really important to zoom out and to reflect on what played out on Saturday, but also on Sunday in Christchurch and Wellington, where thousands of New Zealanders turned up to showcase their values, the values of inclusion, the values of love and standing up against the spreading of hatred. And I think that that's the story that all of us can take away from today. Our trans and non-binary whanau should be allowed to live their lives as glamorous and as glorious or as boring as they are. And I'd really love for us now to turn our focus to the climate crisis and to the inequality crisis. You know, the IPCC released a report just last week which said that we have to act now. And the, and the other MP basically said this. No, I think immigration New Zealand did make the right decision. You know, we do live in a democratic country where people should have the right to hold a range of views and be able to freely impart their views. Uh, the immigration department needed to weigh up Bill of Rights, being able to receive and impart information 
as a right under our law versus public disorder. I think they erred on side of free speech, which is what the ACT Party is on the side of. What we saw on Saturday, I think, was really disappointing, where we had people resorting to physical violence in a manner to suppress free speech. And I don't think that that's acceptable. And we have to push back against that. You know, it doesn't matter whether or not people agree or disagree with Posey Parker. She had a right to her view uh, and people had a right to be I, able to hear it. But didn't, I, but didn't people have a right to also oppose those views there as well, Brooke? Of course, people always have the right for a peaceful protest. But what we saw were people uh, throwing items at her, throwing uh, liquids at a speaker who was wanting the ability to freely speak. I do not want our society to become a divided society where we resort to physical aggression to suppress people's individual opinions. That is not a society I want New Zealand to be. We should be a peaceful society that allows people to hold a range of different views where we can openly debate and use reason and logic to come to analysis of ideas rather than physical acts of aggression and intimidation. And then after that, you look at her, her liberal mind was completely fried and she basically said this. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not gonna let that cringy revisionist history stand. If you look to the experience of thousands of Aucklanders who turned up to showcase their trans rights by human rights, then you will see. Overall, I'm gonna say this out and clear. The thing is, is that this, like, Freedom of speech is not being held up in the Western world anymore. Democracy is not being held up in the Western world anymore. And this is a terrible time. So she is a feminist after all. She's a radical feminist after all. And the thing is, is that, you know, she may believe in the, in, you know, the gender wage gap. But the thing is, is that, that in a place where free speech takes is the norm the thing is that you have to let you have to let these people speak even though they may bumble even though they may mumble and talk shit you still have the right to speak and i am standing up for posy parker's right even though i may not agree with anything that she says anything that comes out of her mouth probably except for this one the thing is that i will always stand by her i will always stand by her and stand for her ability to freely say what the what the hell she fucking wants. You're not China, you're not Saudi Arabia where you where you cut pe where you chop people's hands off or you where you arrest people or you kill them in secret because you don't like what they say. That's not how you do things. Just shows you that you are a coward. And for these TRAs to show up in here to show up in here and cause a ruckus and you know be violent towards these women it shows me that these TRAs are weak. They can only resort to violence. Not only that, this should show as a sign that if you that if you as a man wanna hit women because for fun and shit, go to a trans rate go to a trans rally, uh wear a dress. And then you're good to go. Because if you're a man, hitting woman is a no-no. But if you're a man in a dress, or a man-man who actually has no problem with their gender whatsoever, and is just appearing up at a trans rally as a trans ally, then hitting women is A-OK. -okay. Do you smell that? It's leftist irony. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've been your host, Margar Jude. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. 再见，拜拜。